I haven't had a row since I was like 13, so mm -hmm. I don't even know prices or anything like that, but he was mentioning earlier around a thousand or so. Um, yeah. I know uh, PSC is good. I also know Matthews is good. I have an older brother that hunts, and he's had PSC and Matthews. He's just got a brand new Matthews. Um, so I kind of let you do your thing and tell me because I don't. It's been so long. Yeah. Kind of. Different. And we'll go down and look at PSC. Okay. Quick. Um, so they're actually both going to be Kilo. Um, so they got the 31, 33, and 35. Um, Personally, I like the 33 and the 35 more than the 31. Okay. I guess it's just a little bit more stable, a little smoother on the draw. Okay. Um, so we can set up a 33 probably. Okay. Um, it's going to be the, the closest to the Matthews, I think, okay. as far as uh, uh, the field. Okay. Um, and what's like the differences in a 33 and a 35? Is it just the actual size of the bow or is it? Yes, yeah, so for the most part, it's just the actual size of the riser. So uh, this one's two inches longer, axle okay. to axle. So from that point right there okay. to that point. Okay. Um, so generally the longer the bow, um, the more stable it feels. Okay. Um, so a lot of like, uh, each of our guys out West will get a longer axle axle bow because you're generally shooting longer distances. Okay. Um, they, they kind of run like almost a target setup. So longer stabilizers, um, adjustable sights, um, stuff like that. Okay. Where out back East, you usually shoot, shoot a shorter bow, um, cause you're, in like a tree stand or a ground gotcha. blind, you, you kind of want something that compact. Far. Okay. And you're only shooting. So what would you recommend out here? A little bit longer distance since we're a little more wide open type thing? Yeah. So the 33 is great for that. Um, I shoot a 33. Um, axle axle, it good stability. Okay. So then I run a 10 inch stabilizer. Uh, and that's the piece that comes out the front. Right? Yep. Okay. And it's weighted to help? Yeah. Okay. Now bring your eyes and look at me. And now without looking at your hand, uh, bring your hand up and look at me through it. Um, yeah, so your left eye on it. So generally you want to shoot left-handed. Okay. Uh, unfortunately right now, I think we only have like maybe one, those. maybe two bows okay. that are left-handed. Uh, now how much would it matter? Um, if you can shoot right-handed, like you can try it. Um, we'll set one up okay. real quick and you'll see. Um, the only difference is uh, so like a rifle, you have a scope to look through. It's mm -hmm. a lot easier to use your non-dominant eye. You have a peep sight on here, so uh, you can leave both eyes open. And uh, if you're not really paying attention and you shoot out the wrong eye, you're gonna hit like five, six feet uh, to the left or the right. Okay. Have you ever used a release before? It's been a long time. <laughs> Let me get you on a safety to start. Okay. Kind of wrap around the wrist. Okay. Kind of put the belt there. Um, and that'll wrap around the string. And then when you get back, um, I can kind of show you too. I'll okay. shoot it first. Um, you want this knuckle kind of underneath your ear at the end of your jaw right there. And then okay. uh, pretty close. And uh, um, you just want everything to be nice and relaxed. Okay. Um, and you and don't, to, don't. Yeah. Straighten your arm. Do Go straighten your arm. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you see this line right here? Mm -hmm. So that's your life line. So you want to keep it on the your thumb side, kind of in the meat of your thumb. Okay. Um, with your hands, with your fingers, kind of at a forty-five degree angle. Um, that'll keep you this good distance away from the string there. Okay. And also uh, reduce torque. Okay. Now, when you pull back, you will explain all that. You just pull it up, down. Um, so you kind of want to so. Drawing down is a little bit worse on your shoulders, okay. a little bit harder to draw. Um, so you want to draw um, a little bit over the target, uh, not like in the sky or anything. Okay. Um, but you want to come down, and then when you're drawing back, like when you actually um, anchor, you should be pretty much on the target already. Okay. Um, that way you don't have to move around a whole bunch. Um, so can I see how I did that there? Uh huh. Good. And then, uh, can you see how my hand is on this side? Um, yeah, that's kind of up underneath my uh, ear. my ear, okay. behind my jaw. Okay. Um, and you see how that string? I know it's hard with the mask on. Mm -hmm. um, it, so it's cutting the corner of my mouth and then the tip of my nose right there. Okay. Um, and so that's pretty much what you're looking for. <clears throat> and then you just want to kind of squeeze out of it. 
Okay. Perfect. Yep. And you kind of want to tuck your finger underneath or behind that. Yep, just like okay. that. So that otherwise it would release yeah. it, correct? Yeah. Okay. And then. Okay. Let's now see. it's my. Um, so you want to tuck in closer to your ear there? All right. Like that? Uh, pretty close. Um, but you want to, you want your nose to touch about right there. Okay. So that's going to be pretty close. Uh, it'll all line up a lot better once you put like a peep in there. Okay. Yeah. So you'd be able to see your sights and everything. Yeah. Okay, so, so just let it go. Yep. Perfect. We'll try with the other release here. Actually get a shot off here. There you go. Ah, right. Yep, like just that. like that. Hmm. Okay. You all right? Yeah. You'll be able to shoot right-handed? Yeah, I think so. It's like, I think it'll be much easier with the sight, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. I'll have something to hang. Yeah. Okay. There'll be a sight on there and then a keep sight, so you'll be able to line it all up, kind of like a front and a rear sight on a right. Oh, nice, actually. Really nice. Feels pretty good. Try out this one again. Differences yeah, well? actually, I like this one better. Yeah, I like this one a lot. What about it? It just feels a little smoother, pull back and shooting, and doesn't seem like it has a lot of I don't know what you call it, tension or mm. yeah, vibration so, or anything. Yeah, uh, it's got 90% lot off compared to at least 85 on the Matthews, so a little bit more uh, let off, which means you're not holding as much uh, when you're back there. Okay. Um, and then the grip is, I like this grip a little bit better than that one, just for my hands personally. What do you think I should, hand. what's legal hunting? Uh, 30. So yeah, you're good on hunting. Okay. Um, generally you want to shoot as much as you can comfortably. Okay. You don't want to be struggling to drive back, but uh, you don't want to shoot like some super easy. I'll probably do 60 for a little while then yeah. until I get a little more used to it. Yeah, that's a good idea. So we do have these ones. So rip uh, TKL, uh, victory rip TKL. Uh, this is 350, um, this is 340, um, and there's fine chart. Um, really solid arrow. It's five millimeters instead of your standard six um, that a, like a gold tip hunter would be. Um, you're going to get a little bit better penetration because of that. Because uh, there would be an insert on here, and it'll be like, so it'll be like six millimeters, um, and it'll taper down uh, flush with the arrow. So it'll punch a big hole, and the arrow will just slip in. You get super good penetration okay. with it. Um, so this would be my recommendation. 
Yeah. Okay. Hybrids. Cool. And I can practice with those as well? Yep. You can practice with them, you can hunt with them. Okay. You can argue with them. Draw back, um, just kind of anchor how you were, um, if you can remember, okay. and then you want to be looking through this. And it's all right if it doesn't line up or it's too high or too low. Um, I can fix that for you. So. And then you want to be using the, the very top pin there. So, so start out. Oh, okay. I see. Then I switch to the pin. Yep. Yep. So you want this to be around that housing. Um, looks like it's too high probably for you. Which I need to learn to get my finger off the trigger. Okay, and then if you want to bring your head down just a little bit and touch your tip of your nose to the string there, can you see through that? Yeah. And it lines up good? Seems like it, yeah. All right, you can go ahead and shoot that one. So I'm on the top pin, correct? Yep, top pin. Go? Yep, go ahead. Shoot it one more time. So is that 215 feet per second? Avalina Hunt 2021. Come on, you're wrong. <laughs> Headed out, gassed up, iced up, rigged or ready. Let's go do this. Yeah.